Hey guys, what's up? How are you? I hope that you guys are having an amazing one today. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Jarrell, and in today's video, we are going to be playing with a new eyeshadow from What's Up Beauty. I just got it out of the box, and I didn't even know that they were going to send their new brushes to me, which I'm super, super excited. This is not a paid video. I'm just doing this because I absolutely love playing with eyeshadow palettes, and this one just really caught my eyes based on the Instagram post that they've been doing, and when they reached out to me letting me know that I was going to be <laughs> receiving their eyeshadow palette I was really really excited so yeah let's go ahead and do some swatches a couple of looks and of course I am going to be using their new brushes I'm going to unbox everything of course off camera so you guys don't have to even deal with the noises that the plastic makes but yeah let's go ahead and get started with the video but before we do please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already you can also like this video because that definitely helps out my channel so much and you can also click on the little bell that will notify you whenever I upload a new video, which is every single week. And without further ado, let's get started. So I'm opening up the boxes and I just wanted to share with you guys how it actually comes. It has this little like tag right here so you can pull it up. And here we have the brush super nice and neat and i think that that's a really nice touch the way that they actually package their brushes these brushes right here are the ones that i actually use on my videos all the time and this ones right here are the newer ones you can see that they are a lot smaller for more detailed work comparing it to the original set that i got so here are all my what's up beauty brushes that I'm going to be using for today's video. So here is the box that the eyeshadow palette comes in. This is called the Dragon Eye and this does have a shelf life of 24 months and it's made in Italy. So here we have the actual palette and you can see that there is the dragon and here is his eye. The packaging is pretty cool I gotta say and wow okay this looks really really nice that looks super stunning this dragon eye eyeshadow palette retails for 45 dollars it is talc free clean cruelty free sustainable and made in italy all right so this palette is going to be available to you guys on november 17th of course i am going to be linking everything down below i'm really excited for you guys to see it in action i'm really excited <laughs> to see it in action all right guys so let's go ahead and start with the swatching but just to let you guys know that there is seven blinding multi chromes and duo chromes and each of them contains a different shade of green or shift to green. I'm going to start with the first row and there's some creamy mattes and this one claims not to have any fallout which is amazing and a little bit more sparkles. So here we have fly. Next we have breath. We have fire. Spikes. All right let's do the next four. Magic. Powerful. Creature. Fierce. This one feels really nice and beautiful and creamy to the touch. Very interesting. Let's do the last four. These ones right here, the last four, are very exciting. Scale, Myth, Smoke, and Monster. So super exciting to swatch this palette right here. These duochromes, multi-chromes are really beautiful. I'm very excited for this one right here. But all of the green tones, so if you are a green lover, I think <laughs> this palette is definitely going to be like calling your name. And the mattes, they feel really nice, beautiful, buttery. This matte right here, it is such a beautiful color for a one and done as well, or just to warm up the crease. Really, really, really nice, beautiful swatches. So let's go ahead and now try it on the eyes. All right, so I'm going to start with my eyeshadow primer, which is my Hourglass Primer. And I will bring you in a little closer so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to stay on this side of the palette for this eye right here using the R103 brush. And I'm going to take the shade in Spikes. 
and this is going to be my transition shade so just adding it to my outer corner and on my crease and just building the shade to the intensity that I desire there's definitely not a lot of fallout and it's blending really nice also going to add it to my lower lashes and the outer corner with the same brush and taking a little bit of creature which is this shade right here with the same brush just blending the edges of that first color that we apply so using the R102 brush which is one of my favorite ones and I'm going to take powerful which is this purpley shade right here and I'm going to add it to the outer corner like right in the outer V and also adding a little bit of this shade right here in the outer corner really close to my lash line and with whatever left is on the brush I'm just going to start blending the edges and blending it into the other shade and I'm going to take a smaller brush and this one is the R108 brush and I'm taking this brown shade which is called Smokes I'm going to really just focus that in the very outer corner just intensifying the depths of this outer corner really staying in the outer V taking powerful again just blending the edges Going back with smoke and just adding it to the very outer corner right on top of the other shades that we had applied and just going in halfway. Okay, now taking monster with my finger, I'm going to add this right here on the lid really close to the other shades that we have and just leaving a little bit of space right in the inner corner oh my goodness this has so much sparkle to it it's so beautiful. So now taking the R111 brush in magic. And I'm going to add this one to the inner corner and just blending it with a monster. And this has such a beautiful sparkle to it as well. So gorgeous. I'm going to use my finger just to press it down really. Wow. And marrying it with a monster. Going back to the R108 brush in the shade Smoke. So there is a little bit of fallout as you can see. I'm just going to clean it up. I'm going to use a brown liner from Lancome to tight line. Adding the liner to my waterline halfway. All right, guys, so I'm going to take the 107 brush, which is one of the newer ones, and I'm going to take the shade in Myth, and I'm just going to add it to the inner corner. And this one does have a little bit more of a pinkiness to it. I'm just going to drag it up a little bit. And I'm going to also add this to the inner corner of my lower lash. Well, the shade in Myth is not as light as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like perfect for the inner corner. It's a little bit darker than what I had in my mind. As I am applying it in the inner corner and just bringing it up, it's just making a really nice, beautiful like sandwich of this shade right here in Magic. And I really do like what we just did, believe it or not. So I am going to just keep it like this. It's very beautiful for you can go ahead and tweak it to your liking you can go ahead and completely skip this step and adding myth in the inner corner and just leave it as it was before it's really up to you you can just use a highlighter for your face in the inner corner just to highlight the inner corner if that's what you wish to do but, I but what i'm going to do now is just show you the final look for this eye and then we come back to this undone face We're back to this undone face right here. So let's go ahead and create our second look using the What's Up Beauty Dragon Eye Palette. And of course, now we're going to stay on this side right here. I am going to travel a little bit on this side just to maybe grab the darker brown, but we will see what we can do. All right, guys, so I'm going to be using the R105 brush and I'm going to take this shade right here. And this one is called Creature. And this is going to be our transition shade. This shade in Creature is throwing me off because it looks a little bit more brown on the pan, but when I apply it to my eyes, it's definitely a little bit more peachy, but we're still going to use it. And now I'm going to just reinforce that with this shade right here. So this one is a little bit deeper, but I still feel like it, they're really, really close to one another. So I'm going to do the same, just adding it to my outer corner, just creating my shape, blending the shadow into the other shade. Creature, adding a little bit of this shade as well in the outer corner on my lower lashes. All right, I'm dying to try this shade right here, but I think I want to actually add a little bit more depth to the outer corner, so I'm going to go back with Smoke. Using the R108 brush, is really focusing this shade in the outer corner, right here in the outer V, and just blending the edges. Adding a little bit of this darker shade right here in the outer corner as well on my lower lashes. 
And just going back with breath and the previous brush just to blend the edges. You know what? I'm actually going to use this brush right here, which is the R10A brush and the shade in smoke. And I'm going to add it very, very lightly in the inner part of my crease just to create a little bit more definition. I'm not connecting it. I'm just leaving it like this. And now taking the shade and scales with my finger. Let's see how it looks together. All right, so now using the R110, I am going to take the shade Fire. And I'm going to add it to the inner part of my eye. This brush is picking up the product really, really nice and it's blending it really nice as well. So I'm going to just clean the brush and now taking the shade and scales one more time just to perfect it a little bit better. Going back with fire and just marrying those two together. So now taking Fears with the R101 brush and I'm going to add this to my lower lashes. So from the inner corner, going back, bringing Fears right here in the inner corner as well and just bringing it up, outlining the shade in fire very gently. This is so beautiful. I am going to just clean up and shape things up. The Lancome liner again, just a tie line and adding it halfway on my lower lashes as well. I'm going to curl my lashes at mascara and show you the final look for this eye. Feel uninvited Left your home in West LA I'm not excited So uninspired On my way to play the bay While you're alone Using my Chivanchi powder to set everything in place All right guys, so here we have the final look. As you can see, these two looks right here are just absolutely stunning. If you are into purples, you're going to love this. But if you are like me, you are into purples and greens, you are going to love this palette so much. The quality is definitely there. So, so, so beautiful to work with. There was a little bit of fallout, which it was totally expected, especially when you are working with darker shades, but the shimmer shades had like very little to no fallout whatsoever. This formula, the multi-chromes and duochromes claims to have no fallout whatsoever. And I gotta say that it is so true because usually I will have like glitter all over my face and it is not happening with this palette right here from What's Up Beauty. The quality, again, it is just stunning. I am so in love with these two looks right here. The whole entire look just looks absolutely gorgeous. I mean, you can definitely have so much fun with this eye look. And this one right here, it's a little bit more grounded, I would say more wearable still. But if you are into colors, I mean, <laughs> Just gorgeous. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are interested in this palette. I wasn't able to use all of the shades, so I think that I am going to end up using it in maybe a short or on my TikTok, on my Instagram, just in case you guys are not following me anywhere else. I do have the links down below. But yeah, that is it, my friends. That is it. Oh, before I forget, <laughs> it was not it. So the brushes are just amazing. The quality is definitely there. I've had my first set for a very long time. I washed them. There's never any any shedding. It's just the quality is really amazing on these brushes. So if you go with the brushes or the palettes, I think that you're definitely not going to be disappointed. What do you guys think about this look? Do you like the first one, the second one better? Let me know. But yeah, that is it for this video, my friends. That is it. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your love, your time and support. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already. And I will see you next time.